Hey friends and welcome back. I'm back and I have saved this week's mail just for you so we can open it together. So this is all the stuff I've gotten this week. First things first. First little bag. Pretty sure it's fabric. This is one of those I ordered this fabric 12 weeks ago situations. And this I'm super excited about. Oh my, ooh, what is the heck is this? It feels like butter. Okay, so I bought this fabric. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Who is printing for this woman? So I got this. I love the Adams Family. So I am going to be using this. And I'm gonna make a mask for myself. And I've already decided in my mind, I'm going to put black rhinestones on it because I can just because I can so woohoo, love it um, and then I got this I got this from the moonborn I ordered this it's mugs okay guys you know if you've been on this channel long enough you know how I feel about hot beverages and mugs a few of my favorite things love it love it Ooh. Super excited. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, so much. Oh my gosh, and she even drew this. <gasps> oh, beautiful. So this is from the artist from The Moonborn. She drew all of these characters. It's really cool. She has a lot of pins. She not only has like enamel pins, but she actually has... I'm too excited. I'm tongue-tied. She also has clay pins that she's made and painted based on her doodles and her drawings. Like, holy cow, this is like the coolest thing ever. All right, let's see it. Oh, oh, and there's something else in here. Oh, beautiful card. Yes, Moonborn, guys, please go and follow her. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And since I found out she had mugs, you know I was on top of that. That's what drew me. I'm considering getting a clay pin though, just because it's beautiful. And what a work of art that she actually made the clay, painted it, and then made it into a pin. I mean, come on. If you appreciate the artistry, please go follow. Guys, following people on Instagram is free. You don't have to pay for it, so you can follow whoever you want. Give them a follow. To us, it's priceless, but for you, it's free. You just gotta click the button. But for those of us who get support through our following, they're really appreciated. Oh my God, I would have died. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's so much nicer in person. Look at this. Mornings are rough. 
and it's what I like. I don't know why. Did you guys notice after I got the um, Plague Doctor mug? I'm into this shape. This is my shape now. This is the shape of 2020 for me in mugs. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I need something. Where's my husband? Somebody call him. Tell him to bring me a hot beverage on his way home so I can use this. Oh, somebody phone him, text him. SOS, wife needs coffee. Harass him, guys. Yeah, you have no idea. Unless you personally know me, you probably don't know who he is. But for those of you that know us, tell him. Bring your wife a hot beverage. You know what she likes. You know her Starbucks order. Bring it on your way home. <laughs> God, if he gets... He's gonna... Oh, guy's gonna kill me. Okay. Oh. And then look... Oh, I didn't notice there was two! Okay, so... Before coffee... And then there's an after coffee. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I just really like this because I do feel like this some mornings. I like that it's blue and the inside is oh, so cute. So this is what I got. This is what I've been waiting for, guys. I've been waiting for these. Ah! This one. I've been staring at her Instagram for a while, hoping to get this. I even entered a giveaway, but I finally just said, it's available woman buy it buy it so I did that was a gift to myself so please give the moonborn a follow I'll put that to the side um and there's just more fabric same lady as the uh Wednesday Adams one I just showed you is this just more Wednesday Adams or what did I do oh my gosh come on Someone should take back my kindergarten certification. Oh, I bought it in. Oh, I see what I did. Guys, just I had a moment where I didn't realize what I, I just did. Dang, who prints this woman's fabric? I would love to, I would die, I would kill. I would kill to know who makes this fabric because it feels like butter. This is buttery cotton. I got it in a large scale also. So this, I'm probably going to make um, something out of that's not a mask. I'm thinking make a bag because, you know, I feel very dark and twisted sometimes when I get up in the morning and I look like I got puffy eyes and such and then I have to do my makeup. That would be appropriate for me. Oh no, did I lose the card? Oh shoot, I think some, the, her card fell out. But I mean, I already have the card, so hopefully it was nothing else. Okay, so I got two yards of... Oh, I know what I did. Oh my god, okay. So I got it in cotton, and then I got it in a different base of fabric, which is called cotton lycra, which is stretchy. Oh my god, I'm so happy I did this. Like, this is the best gift to myself that I did. Thank you, me, 12 weeks ago. How did you know I would be so happy 12 weeks from when you placed your order? I'm so excited. Oh. And I also got it, so this is Lycra. So Lycra does this, guys, stretch. And it's thick, it's a thick and stretchy material. People make leggings out of these, just as like a reference of what this is. Like this is your like power leggings situation. Okay, not power leggings. There's an athletic stretch uh, suplex fabric for that, but I mean, you get the idea. It's beautiful. Oh my God, I don't ever wanna let this go. <sighs> what if she never lets us buy this again? This is what happens to me and then I never want to use the pretty fabric because I'm afraid I'll never get my hands on it again because these people don't always resell it. <sighs> I'm already sad that I used it and I haven't even used it. The last thing, business, this is business stuff. I mean that was technically business stuff but this is like literally basic supplies like when people go and they get school supplies for their kids like this is my equivalent to that. This is um at home keychain business supplies basically from my favorite place to buy them oh, a box a package and a package will you these so this is what i put onto your ah, your keychains are held together with something called snaps and i got different colors of snaps so for instance, this, this is a snap, and this is what the snap does, okay? So that's what I ordered, a bunch of them. I got colors I needed, you know, like white, everybody needs white, um, 
Apparently I ordered white and I didn't know. Oh, because they're hearts. I did. I did order that. Um, royal blue. Black hearts. Because I was running out of black hearts. Uh, black hearts are used on other store at m and every day. Um, that is a thing. I got these because they kind of feel pumpkin-y. And y'all know I got a pumpkin problem at the moment. Oh gosh, I got a bunch of them. Okay, so I just... I mean, if you want to see, I got green, a butter color, more orange, orange, because it's fall, I mean, you know, black, oh, we got black stars, what to do with them, we'll see, um, and then they always give you some fun little, like, as a thank you, these are cool, I just collect them at this point, because I'm not sure what to use them on, they're always fun, I've gotten emoji ones before, green, I call this a caramel color. More butter. Um, oh, and these are important. Okay, that, that's super important. These I use a lot of. Um, I have a hand sanitizer holder at my other store. Again, m and every day. Um, it has a plague doctor with the plague doctor mask on. It says wash your damn hands. Super popular. Oh my god, I can, literally can never make enough of those. Always selling out. Always selling out. Which, if you're interested, I do have a PG, if you will, version. Because I messed up and made the wrong one. And it says, wash your darn hands. If you're interested, they're $10 a piece. Free shipping. Find that at m and every day. Um, the link to my Etsy shops, plural, is always in the description. These are important, though. I'm buying... These um, are rivets. And I'm actually wanting to use them to make like a wristlet with a hand strap on the side or to use them to make straps and convert some bags I have into bags with straps, if that makes sense. So it could be like a crossbody. I'm working on coming out with a line of fun crossbody little bags for girls. Just letting you know, they're gonna be fun. Like a panda, a hippo, like they're gonna be fun little character things. I even have like a cute little cactus, like just the fun stuff. Similar to what you've seen from me before, such as this style. This one I made super big. If you guys are one of the people who last summer were really into my pineapple bags, I made a really big one. Like, look at this compared to almost the size of my, look, look how big it is compared to my face. It's pretty big. My face, the back. Um, I have a really big one. I only have one and I want to offload it. If anyone's still into pineapples, really cute pineapples, you let me know. This is a pretty big one. I don't normally sell it in this size. I messed up. I don't know what I was thinking. I blew it up. I had a brain something or other, and I made a really big one. So if you're interested, message me and we can talk about this one. So what I'm essentially thinking of doing is taking things that I have that are cutesy like this, making them big, and then kind of making them into like a crossbody bag. And in order to do that, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Sew them or use these to hold the straps together to be. And they'll be like a clip-on, literally crossbody situation. This is what I'm working on in the background, just so you know. And then I also got zipper tape. Because I'm going to make... For those of you um, who are having to send your kid back to school like I am, a lot of them are requiring that they have a mask. And a lot of places, you send your kid with a mask, you're probably going to have to send them with a backup mask. Let's be honest, because something's probably going to happen to that first mask, especially knowing my children. So what, I've, what I'm going to do, I haven't done it yet, this is what I was waiting for. I'm going to make pouches. And they're going to be the size of the masks for your kid. And I'm going to have tabs on them where one says clean and one says dirty. So that way you take both, put them in their backpack. In school, they have the two bags. And then the one that says clean will have a spare. And then if something happens to the mask that they're wearing and it's dirty, the teacher or whomever or your child can put it into the dirty bag and then take the clean one out of the clean bag and then they never touch and then that one doesn't touch other stuff. And they're going to have a wipe down liner, okay? So you don't have to worry about um, the inside. I'm thinking of something breathable 
and wipeable. Okay, so I'm gonna play with it. I'm not sure how it's gonna play out when I actually make it, but where um, probably the dirty one, I'm actually, no, I might not do that. I have to think about it. Um, I'm gonna make it for sure the liner will be wipeable so that way if you need to you can pull it out wipe it down with like your hand spray with your hand sanitizer or However you wash stuff at home give it a quick rub down like when you're washing in the sink and you're washing your kids mask pull the inside of that bag out you know from the bag and wash that also with just like soapy water and then they can just dry there on the counter and then the next day stuff the liner back into the bag put it back in your child's backpack and then make sure that they have a clean one as a spare in their clean bag and then there'll be a clean and dirty bag. Make sure there's no cross contamination. That's what I wanna do. I'm really trying to work hard on that. But this video is going to be, um, it's basically a compilation of my entire week which has been all over the place. It's been a combination of blinging out masks and making hair bows because that's what I do. Like to bling stuff up. All of it involves bling though. Glittery bows and glittery masks because that's how we do things here. So let's go ahead and roll that B footage. Hey friends, thanks for sticking around for another studio vlog. If you are interested in any of the mask designs you have seen, um, they're sold, but I can always remake them. So don't ever be afraid if you see that something has already sold that I can't make you another. Chances are, unless I somehow used up all that fabric, which is highly unlikely, um, I'll have something for you. So you can always message me and say, hey, can you recreate such and such or send me a picture of it or whatever you want. Um, I'll make it for you, don't worry about it. Um, I already volunteered myself to make masks for my kids' um, class because all the parents are kind of scrambling because we just found out we have to go to school on Monday. Well, one of them. I told them I was keeping my kid at home, so I'm doing extended distance learning, but I have been meeting with all the kids and the parents on Zoom, and they were all freaked out, and so I totally volunteered myself. There's not that many kids. There's like four kids in our class. Not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so like I said, I'm always willing to help you out and make you something that you've already seen that I have. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching on Instagram, still like it, guys, okay? And leave me a comment down below. Something. Hi. Bye. 
see you later girl like I don't know let me know something okay guys I'm so desperate for a comment there y'all okay y'all you watch the videos but guys are so quiet because no one ever says anything so like you're there but are you there hello it's okay I think I'm approachable leave me a comment below and until next time friends bye bye